And uh, chat, I'll turn on in-game music as well here. I know I don't normally play with music on, but this is uh, probably going to be better. Uh, okay, guys, so we've got Sock down here in the bottom left, and in the upper left is Snow uh, on Polypoid. Our Artosis is observing on his stream. I'm observing on mine. If you have two monitors, go ahead and open both of them up. We might be looking at different stuff at different times. Yeah, most likely. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We've never we've never really uh, done this together where we can't <laughs> see each other really during it. But uh, we can't touch okay, each I other guess. during the um, cast. The whole thing is going to be off. No, that's a that's a big deal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> normally, we hold hands when a big yes. fight's about to happen. <laughs> that's why you can really hear and feel the passion. That's right. I don't know how I'm going to do this play by play if I can't hold your thigh while uh. All the games are going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Okay, so I guess we'll just have it nice and laid back, have some fun with it. Yeah. Tasis, what do you think about uh, this match on Polypoid, Snow vs. Sock? Do you watch? Yeah, I know you watch like a ton of snow. Yeah, I do. But how much sock do you get to see? Uh, none. I mean, I'm, I'm not that familiar with them. I think that uh, we're probably in the same boat here when it comes to stuff like this. Like, I imagine the vast majority of the Brood War that you watch stream-wise is probably just your respective race. Am I right about that? I watch a little bit of Bisu, a little bit of Snow, and a little bit of Best. Uh, but yeah, I basically watch no Zergs because when they queue into a ZVZ, I just want to fall off a cliff. And um, <laughs> mostly Terrans. So yeah, I know I know a lot about Sock. <laughs> that's good, that's good, because I don't have a ton to say about him, but. Uh, with Snow, it looks like he's going to go for a Nexus on 12. Yeah. Which, which is a, a and perfectly is good opener. And it is close spawns. Mm -hmm. mm. and, and Sok is actually scouting north first, and he's already gone gas. So he should be going for a Marine Vulture bust here. And, like, in these spawns, especially when you scout at first, it shouldn't even be hard for, for Sok to bust that Nexus. So this is actually going to be a game that I'm very excited to learn from, to be honest. Yeah, I want to see. This is literally, like... I mean, obviously, the Protoss takes a risk by doing this build, but this is like the worst draw uh, that you could ever have because you took the risk, you did the Nexus first, he's scouting you, and Terran didn't go for anything weird like Command Center first. So this feels punishable. Um, yeah. And I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think on, on paper, this is much more of a straightforward win for the Terran, right? Well, there's a couple things, right? We got to see how many gates he makes. So he goes two gate, which would be normal when the SCV scouts you so quickly. Mm, okay. Uh, so the question is, is he going to fight the the push, right? Because Sock almost 100% will do the push. It doesn't make sense not to. Uh, but if you fight the push and hold it, you've won the game. Right. And if you fight the push, the thing is, you can always pull back up your ramp. It just, it kind of comes down to how many probes you end up losing, I think, during it. That's that's kind of the big thing that we're looking at. Like, when I bust a Nexus, I'm like, okay, how many probes did he lose? He lost none? Okay, I'm actually slightly behind economically a lot of times then. Yeah, it can be kind of normally. Oh, sorry, yeah. go ahead. I was just going to say, like, uh, normally you cut some probes in this situation when you go to gate so you can produce more. But it looks like he's going directly, like, I think he's getting one or zero zealots. Oh, there we go. He's cutting a few probes now. I was okay, going to say, go. damn, man, how greedy are we going to be? But he's going to go into Dragoon super quick. Yeah, it, it does seem like if they send the SCVs and, the, and like, a lot of them and try to attack and you pull the probes away uh, and, like, you give up the Nexus, I don't know where the game is supposed to be exactly from there, but I, we have had games where that does happen. So here's the SCV pull. And, it's uh, eight SCVs. Yeah. He's got four Marines up front already hitting the Zot really, really good. Uh, he made one Vulture and one add-on, which I really like here, actually, because it was slightly more greedy. He didn't make many Zelots, so you don't need that second Vulture. It means his mines are going to be a lot quicker. So we don't have but... a pylon down here at the natural, so there's no chance of a battery or anything like that. The two Dragoons are coming. The probes uh. have been pulled, and um, this is going to be an interesting Ooh. one to watch with guys on this level. Can he actually Ooh. get this Vulture? Oh, my God. He's going to get the Vulture. Yeah, that oh. is so painful. The, the bunker will finish, and he's going to be able to get three Marines in, I think. Oh, I don't even know about that. Looks two. like two, actually. Yeah. Um, now, the, the SCVs, SCVs are, are actually getting us around. Yeah, the SCVs are actually in, in a pretty... We're, we're in a pretty extraordinary position. Um, but it looks like now he's basically going to have enough Dragoons to fight down this uh, ramp. I mean, Dragoon range is going to be on the way here. I... 
think the Nexus goes down. I could be wrong about that. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 it looks like definitely, actually. Yeah, like, notice how many SCVs he's leaving here. He has, he brought, he was going to do three, and then he brought up a fourth. Uh, and you see four goons, right? So, like, he can just kind of repair through. You have to kill the Nexus. If you don't kill the Nexus, you've lost the game. Oh, 100%. You are completely boned if you don't, if the Nexus uh, is just somehow saved here. Now, the, keep in mind, Marines can't actually target when they're inside the bunker. So, if he runs up here with the Dragoons, which he might, they're going to auto-target mm -hmm. down uh, the Dragoons again. They will not prioritize the Nexus. Now, I don't know if that's a possibility here, but just something I want to point out. Yeah. It's, it's too low now because, yeah. like, he could actually just pop everything out and, and target it. Now, he also has a tank coming with another Marine, uh, which he got really, really quickly here. So I think it's three Marines in that bunker and then the siege tank behind. No has to decide how he wants to deal with this. Like, look at that repair. It's so good. The mines are done now. A Zealot coming in to put in that extra damage as well. It is going to pop pretty quickly. This is insane, dude. Uh, the bunker's been taken out. And although there's no detection here, uh, you can, if you're if you're good enough, like we saw Bisa do this in ASL, you can absolutely trigger the mines and shoot them down with the Dragoons mm -hmm. here. And that's why he's leaving the siege tank, is because if you try to go up, because it's in a, like a, it's not a target command on the mine, so they'll actually misfire a lot of the time and hit units that are near it. Hard dance to do as Terran, but like you can kind of force them to not trigger the mines like that. So... I don't know if I really like this position for the Terran here. I mean, you tell me if I'm if I'm wrong. It seems like the Protoss got the benefit of getting a few extra probes out of the extra Nexus. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I mean, granted, the Observers are only just going to come out. That's always sort of a, a funny feature of the quick Nexus build is that the Observers are a little bit later than they could have been. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like Protoss should be able to take pretty good control of the game from here. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, the thing is, Nexus. Unless you lose probes with the Nexus first, you're basically not behind, right? Like, yeah. but if you, if you, the thing is, if you don't fight with probes, sometimes, like if you really skimp too much, sometimes they come up the ramp and they can kill you and stuff like that. But in situations like this, where you pull the probes, yeah, I mean, look at it, right? Terran has two siege tanks, three marines that have damage on them. Like he's gonna have siege mode right before the goons get here. And he's trying to be as greedy as he can, right? Like, he has an armory. But what if a shuttle comes out next? Uh, I guess he makes a second observer. Because he doesn't... It, the thing is, Snow is playing an honorable Protoss play right here, right? Yeah. See those goons, like, just standing in his main base? If this was, like, foreigner Protoss, all the goons would be at Sox base, and there'd be a <laughs> shuttle there, too. <laughs> this is a uh, situation now, uh, I think, where... Like, maybe there's some play here for Terran, but everything that I see, everything that I know about Protoss, it would make me feel pretty comfortable. I mean, he gets the double expand pretty quickly. Uh, there's not any real opportunity for Terran to attack here. I mean, you know, he doesn't even have any vultures to try to harass. Not that that's even a threat either right now. I mean, everything's pretty mm -hmm. well defended. And um, it looks like what Snow's setting up for, we have the robotic support bay in the main in the top left. Uh, it looks like he's going to go into that speed shuttle play with Reavers, and then mm -hmm. uh, basically, I mean, there's a, a couple different ways you can handle this, but basically make it a third base that would be taken quickly, not possible. But Terran, on the on the other flip side of this, I think is playing this the correct way. He is just going to get more factories. He's getting a starport, and he's going to squeeze out a third base kind of late, but safely, I think. Yeah. And honestly, uh, the one thing I can say about this position, because it is kind of a tough position. You know, I find myself in a similar spot to Sock quite often where they're taking their third Nexus super quick. They're going to max out way ahead of me and stuff. But Sock is actually like his skill set is technical positions. He's mm. like really super good with things like slow third bases and heavy upgrades. Uh, and not like flash heavy upgrades. You think about flash heavy upgrades and you're like, oh, two, two, one. You know, 200, 200 push at 12 minutes or something. No, not Sock. Sock is the guy who's like, okay, well, we have 160 supply at 14 minutes and we have a third base and like a science vessel with that, right? Right. Like this is actually something that he is very good at. Like he, he can play these kind of weird positions quite well. Now, I think that Protoss has the right idea here. Once you see the Goliaths, like a Goliath here and just a couple factories, it's actually okay to go for the Dragoon contain. Because, I mean, you know that there's not a real threat of vultures, like a lot of them at least. Oh. I know we had one on the map, but like a lot running out and actually doing any kind of uh, damage. And so, um, 
I, I think that this is still going to be hard for the Terran. I agree with you that Sock is, is probably quite good in these positions, but uh, I'm definitely liking this for the Protoss here. Yeah, yeah. He's looking pretty good. Like, this contain he has out is perfectly done, too. Notice, like, at the group that's kind of half on the third and half down from the third, this will stop any vultures from going out that, that direction. And then he has the little arc of goons that a lot of people miss uh, right above, like, going up that ramp towards 9 o'clock. That's, like, a really important arc right there. Like, I, you, you have no idea how many vultures I get out through that zone, but he has that closed off as well. Now he's got his reavers coming down. He has the observers still spotting. Like, he's going to have to pull back, but he's slowing this down a lot. Yeah. Um, sorry, I had to interrupt my alerts. I suddenly there was two Artoses talking on my stream for a second there. Um, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not angry yet this stream, but I will be. <laughs> there was a, there was a nice Artosis and an evil Artosis there for a second. All right, I've, I've, I've <laughs> muted my alerts. Uh, thank you for the sub. Uh, so here comes the attack in, and this is great control here with the Reaver by Snow, basically mowing down uh, those tanks and, and staying back and. I mean, this is hard for the Terran right now. Uh, it kind of all goes back to the failed rush, but um, he, he's basically keeping the Terran squeezed pretty hard. Now, we see that the command center only just now started, so it's not exactly like uh, the third base is somehow late. It, it hasn't even begun, but um, it is a, a situation now where Protoss can continue to grow. By the way, big vulture drop in here over the third. Mm. Yeah, tries to get that mine down, but Snow actually stops it. Still a good amount of probes going down, like worthwhile for Sock, but not game-changing. You know, it, looking at this game, it it is a tough, tough position right now for Sock. Uh, his third base is still, like, it's still playable. As long as you get your third base up by 13 minutes, huh. it's still a playable position for, for Terran, but even that is going to be tough because we're about to see Snow's macro explode. Yeah, well, he's got four bases, right? I mean, these probes are going to be transferred here in a second. Uh, I got to say, I'm, I'm impressed that he's done this without making basically a single cannon here until uh, just now, I guess, it is fourth. But, um, you know, the Vulture Harass does come out a little bit later when you play like this. Now, um, there is a chance with these Vultures kind of in the middle. He might be able to just run into the natural, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Not really a wall-in setup over wow. here. And so... yeah. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, Protoss will clean this up, but this can end up being quite a bit of damage here. You can lose a lot of, uh, of probes, even with vultures there for like, you know, five or ten seconds or something. The damage is pretty astounding. And so, this is going to be cleaned up. Um, it does. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm surprised Snow let that much happen. Yeah, I think it was actually really good. I'm a little bit shocked that Snow didn't have more clogged up at the natural because once they get, yeah. in, especially if they get in the main, dude, it's like so hard to deal with sometimes. Uh, so here comes Terran now, going to push out, and those vultures did a lot more than just kill workers. It also, I think, caused the uh, the ar ar army to kind of reorganize here. And so, let's hmm. see. This is probably going to be the most important moment of the game besides Oof. that early fight. Because if uh, Sock can't get this position here, he's basically going to lose the game. Insane connection there uh, with the Scarabs. He just needs to micro these Reavers back. A little bit slow with that. He's going to just suicide them in here, which is actually not a bad idea either. Yeah, maybe a little bit wasteful here at the end. I think trading, like, seven goons and a Reaver for two tanks is probably not well, it. But I, I, This might actually be okay. It's, it's tricky for the Terran to leapfrog the tanks. Uh, it looks like Sock's actually not having a hard time with that, though. So he's going to drive this away. Never mind. Um, mm, well, it, the thing is, he's he's does not have that much supply. He's only on five factories right now. I, right. It's a tough spot, right? Like, Snow got a little bit wasteful, but does that wastefulness actually matter here? He's got four bases, taking a fifth in oh, the top right. Snow's insane. Sock has... Yeah. I, this Reaver He's, is, like, pretty darn far ahead. Oh, 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 my God. He gets the Reaver in here. This is like, bare, this is like a Reaver with no hit points uh, and a shuttle with, like, mm -hmm. no hit points. Uh, how do I turn off the minimap? <laughs> uh, it's like uh, Alt and I or Q. Alt and I. Oh, wait. Okay. No, not Q. Not Q. No, no. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I just don't know how to do that. Okay, so the shuttle's still underneath the minimap. Um, and, you know, anytime you do those big reaver drops, an attack over here at the front um, it, it is always in order. And even though the Protoss is chased away, the tank count is mm -hmm. reduced. Let's see what Terran really has. It's like six tanks total. Um, which means a lot of what Terran was building up to the entire game uh, has kind of been flattened here. 
Now, I, I don't see mm. any major tech here other than Storm coming out. And this is kind of how you play the, the speed shuttle. Uh, uh, how do I say this? Speed shuttle with Reaver uh, into Templars is the very trendy tech. It is very good. It mm -hmm. used to be that you, were, you either had to have an Arbiter out by now or you had to have a carrier, uh, maybe even surprise them with carriers. But that's not really the case anymore. Now people are basically concluding that because Terrans like to just sit there and get a lot of upgrades, you almost treat the army like it's a Zerg army, like you want to have some Storm, and you just pocket those Templars in the shuttle uh, and try to take a really good fight. And we're going to have a Storm drop here as well. It looks like it. Let's let's see what comes out of this shuttle. It goes all the oh, way I'm into sorry. the main base. Okay, Reaver, never mind. I didn't realize it was actually a blind spot Dude. here into the defense. Yeah, Snow always seems to find things like this. Look at this, getting really great scarabs. It's so funny. It's like so few players actually build a Reaver. Like, he started that Reaver like 14 minutes. He's like, oh, you yeah. know what I need this game? A third Reaver. Well, you know, you know what's <laughs> funny about it is like, I think traditionally we always think about Reavers as units that actually just kill uh, workers. But in reality, they one-shot vultures and they two-shot tanks. And, and kind of like mm -hmm. it's a nightmare for the Protoss when the vultures get inside the... Uh, main base uh, of the Protoss. Same thing when the Reaver gets there for the uh, the Terran. You end up losing a lot of stuff in the process. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now, Sock, okay, he's at 140. Like, if you look at the actual supplies, 140 to 163, that is not bad for Sock, who has 2-1. Right. I'm looking for it. Yeah, he has 3-2 on the way right now. We do not see a fourth command center. That's oh. definitely something he has to think about. Artosis, but... you don't even have upgrades for Protoss. It's zero, well, zero. he's been so aggro, damn. Yeah, I didn't actually realize that. If you hadn't pointed well, out... he's going... Dude, yeah. This is so bad. An un unupgraded Protoss... First of all, upgraded Protoss is not even that good against Terran Mech, but unupgraded Protoss? That's that's, that's... why he's getting Psy Storm, I guess. You know, he, The thing is, I think that's why he had such an advantage, right? He skipped a lot of things to be able to go for Nexus super quick. Yeah. And, like, he's been throwing Reavers in. He's been super, super aggro against the army. Sock's army is getting pretty crazy right now. Like, just take a look at it. He's even running around. He's sacrificing vultures right now for probes, which actually, I'd prefer he doesn't do this. I almost yeah. feel like he might have a timing attack coming up where he could kill if he maxes. You, you had the same idea as, as me with that, Artosis. I watched this uh, video a long time ago that Flash was explaining to people that, like, you don't always want to have your vultures flying around the map because mm. sometimes it's actually better. Like, you'll think you're ahead because you killed a bunch of probes. But in reality, you probably needed those vultures with your main army so they were beefy enough that you could just push through. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, if he's maxed with 3-2 and pushes, can Snow hold that? He's going to need Amazing Storms, basically, to hold it. That's going to be the only way. Whereas, if he's throwing away, you know, 20 supply... He just threw away 20 supply of vultures. Yeah, he got some probes, but he would be maxed in 20 seconds if he hadn't thrown those away. Instead, we're waiting yeah. closer to a minute. So, I'm a little bit worried here for Snow. First of all, I think Terran can grow into this left uh, spawn pretty easily. Um, mm. I, Terran is certainly going to have a stronger army, even with some good storms. I mean, plus three attack, plus two armor. I think plus one attack just finished. Yeah, it did for Protoss. This is going to be really, really rough. Yeah, he's... Uh... He's finally figured out how to make a tool, and now we're going to have the Spaceman Sock go forward with his 3-2 fully upgraded mech army. This is... I mean, Sock should be able to win this battle. I think so. I mean... If he can get on top of the third base, that's going to be amazing for him. Look at this. Snow is actually breaking off a set of units down to the south, and then one over towards 9 o'clock. So he's just trying to buy time right now, and he's actually doing a great job. You see Sock moving his entire army to deal with something that you need like five tanks to deal with. Yeah. This is, I think he just has to play a, a slow control game here. Like he just has to push this army away and basically force a fight. Now here we go, the shuttle's gonna come in here um, and he needs to basically, yeah, run for now. The idea is that you want the Terran to siege up and then you run away and as they unseed you attack and if they siege up again, you run away. Um, because mm. if this, if this, push can get over to the top left side and contain the main it's probably going to end the game yeah yeah that's really what he's got to aim for uh snow has added five gates to the top right so i like that but uh you know he's going to be in trouble otherwise look at this the high tumbler's coming in and he's targeting them down 
Good storms, though. He eats through the vultures. What I want to see from Sock right now is just vulture production only for like two rounds yeah. and just go. If he makes two full rounds of vultures and goes, he is going to roll through this. There's not enough storms left. Yeah, plus two attacks around the corner for Protoss, but I mean, 3 2's already here. I imagine the third armor upgrade is going to be coming here shortly. Um, second. I don't know where to find it, but um, this push is going to be very difficult to deal with. He's so close to the natural. If he can push through this natural over here and then push up into the main, it's going to be huge. And knocking that out itself is going to be amazing. Now, look at this. Here he comes, throwing down the storms. Great pullback from Sock there. Good defense matrix as well. More storms going down on these tanks, being pretty efficient. But you see that Snow just can't break this army. Yeah, this is... Uh, I think the end is near, man. I mean, this is just enough tanks. Um, yeah, there's gates out here, and maybe that causes the game to go on for longer, but we haven't really had the storms that we needed. Uh, it does seem like uh, Snow is playing this, not really respecting the possibility of this endgame position here. And this is a very impressive game here by Sock overall, honestly. Considering how this started with Nexus on 12 and the huge lead that Snow had, I'm blown away. Yeah, he's really doing a fantastic job with what he had, right? And like I mentioned, this is just the type of position that he excels at anyways. And you yeah. can really see that reflected here. He doesn't... It, he's not a player that just throws countless factory units at you off five base, right? Like, he gets these kind of... Uh, armies again right it's like very heavy siege tank heavy goliath vessels and is able to just push you down now let's see let's see if snow can come up with something this is going to be the moment he may actually have a chance he did get maxed out again mm -hmm. he does have shuttles with uh reavers and i think there's a shuttle somewhere with templars <laughs> dude how is it? we're 22 minutes in and his reavers are smashing back a mass siege tank push i just don't even get it well you know i think uh, once protoss has figured out that you know Reavers are great fighting units, especially when Terran has this, like, fully upgraded kind of, like, 1A, 2A, 3A army that you're kind of just rolling around, roaming around the map with. Um, yeah, Reavers are a great pick in those kind of situations. Here comes another attack here. I don't think Protoss should engage this, but... Well, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, he's pushing that back pretty damn hard. I, I thought those Reavers are going to shoot for sure. Uh, <laughs> he's buying time. Now look, I mean, Snow's actually playing a pretty good game. Maybe I called this a little bit too early. I didn't expect uh, Sock to turn around. I think it's good that he did because he would have actually mm -hmm. been mm -hmm. punished. But dude, Snow's like, you know, he's grown into the upper right side of the map. He's got the center right, and he's now taking the bottom right. Um, yeah. And this is the Sock doesn't have much bank, man. Like he needs yeah. more bases. He doesn't have many vultures here. It's making me a bit nervous. The idea, basically, with this storm play is you just kind of slowly whittle them down over time. Storms, scarab shots, anything that can hit them. Uh, it's not that likely that they're going to be repaired that easily. Oh, there's so many tanks here at his left uh, expansion at this 9 o'clock yeah. base. I had no idea. That's funny. Seven tanks didn't over there. That seems to be a bit overkill, but... um. Look, the game plan for the Protoss now is to basically drag the game out into oblivion. You got mm -hmm. the other gates over here. You can't, I mean, you can sometimes take head-on fights, but the idea is basically that this is kind of a clunky unit set. Jesus Christ, he has so many tanks. Um, <laughs> I know, I know. It's insane, dude. Yeah, the, actually, this can be hard to play with against what he's playing, right? Because uh, when the tanks start to clump up, a couple storms can cost you, like, thousands of resources. So yeah. it makes me nervous when I see such a tank-heavy <laughs> comp. He's got like 30 plus tanks no he's got he has okay there's 24 tanks moving across the map and then he has another 12 he's got like 36 tanks by the way that second forge was finally made it's not upgrading but <laughs> uh okay so this is the play here is basically to try to force a siege throw down some storms chip away at this and then run away with as much as you can and um I, we should note two things, right? First of all, Terran is basically taking this base at 9 o'clock, and I don't think Protoss is going to be able to, to reclaim that. I do not see Carrier Tech. I do not see Arbiter Tech. And Arbiters, especially in weird positions, are kind of how you can pry open a Terran. So 
I don't know if Snow's doing himself any favors. I know that, you know, we're in kind of a modern style, but I don't think an arbitrary mm -hmm. recall would kill you at this point in time either. As no. Um, I was actually going to say something like that as well, where, like, he should throw down a Stargate. It's not that expensive to start on your Arb tech. Yeah, it's well, going to be like what can actually swing this game the, later on. The Templar tech or the Arbiter tech are not these kind of mutually exclusive techs either, yeah. right? Like a lot of times you'll see people go for uh, the, the Templars and, and squeeze out an Arbiter one at a time. Um, I mean, Stasis is good, but I think a lot of this comes down to recalling and basically being yeah, able recall to do a positional would be, punish. Well, it, in a game like this, you don't prep for recall, right? You have a few turrets up to stop speed shuttles. You don't have mines in your main. Right, so like a recall would be amazing, but also if you look at the way that he's playing this game with mass tank, stasis is one of your best weapons against mass tank. Oh, you yeah. stasis six tanks in a battle, you can beat the, that fucking army with probes at that point. And if you look now, the, you could, the, this is a game that really illustrates the dilemma for Terran when Protoss gets the other mains. Is it's like so hard to actually push into these locations. I love the one DT here. Mm -hmm. Um. These are all these, like, little caltrops you can, like, basically set up to try to drag the game out and slow them down and trip them up. Like, even these these Reavers that are basically, uh, like, leapfrogging backwards here. It's just slowing everything down. Another big Reaver shot would be huge here. He doesn't get it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it was, like, making the Scarab or something. But look, he's whittling this down, and Sock is starting to waste a lot of tanks. He's already lost quite a few tanks over here. He needs to kill this base, and he needs to reinforce because... Snow has more supply now and a bigger bank, so he can just continue to produce. Yeah. Look at this, the DT's getting on top. Like, there are some good moves coming out of Snow right now. Yeah, well, I gotta say, I'm, I'm actually blown away that Snow is managing to do this without even a single Arbiter, but, you know, he's gotten that army down low enough, and what he needs to do is just take these isolated fights, like this one over here by the tank and the vultures, where, like, the, the Terran army isn't really all together and, and can't kind of cover these angles as well. Uh, it's insane how much you have to macro as Protoss in these positions because you have so many gateways in so many spots and you're trying to control these different positions, but I, Snow's basically doing it. Now, that doesn't mean that Snow's going to win, but Snow is kind of getting there. I mean, basically, this 9 o'clock base is the only location that's been taken, and I gotta say I'm a bit surprised, but he has not taken this bottom base. I think all because of the <laughs> one Zealot and one Dragoon here at well, 6 o'clock. He... He's tried to take it a few times. It's just Snow hmm. keeps moving army down there and kind of denying it. And look at this now. Snow coming up for the flank. He's actually going to race this army fine. The tanks are all going to die. Look at this. This is insane, He's dude. Caseless. I can't believe. Okay, I actually think this game is basically Snow's now. Yeah. I yeah. was Rock so was mining from one base. Yeah, I mean, this is... It's weird, too. Again, no Arbiters, no carries, but he, he's he's done a great slow drip with the, with the DTs. Kind of sending them out one by one. Uh, by the way, for some reason, there's not... I don't think we've had a vessel over the Terran army most of this game. I don't know why that is. You yeah. know what I, I mean? Normally, you have a vessel. I mean, I know that there's no uh, Arbiter to EMP, but... I mean, the DTs alone have done more damage than almost anything. Oh, totally. It's... It, you know, it's it's hard to keep all that going. A lot of times, the starport is not even near the facts, so people just forget to make them. You know, that's so true bad. for me, but... But uh, look, it, yeah, Snow has Snow has pretty successfully come back. It all comes down to holding six o'clock, I think, for Sock. He must hold it. Ooh, those ta that tank flank. It's like, oh, he's gonna bust through here. Oh no, there's three tanks randomly at the top here, busting up those goons. And now Snow has to retreat once again. Okay, I think he just scanned. Yeah, he just scanned bottom right. Sock knocks out bottom right. He's at the advantage again, I think. I. Th I think you might be right, especially with no Arbiters here, man. You know, when Terran takes another main, first of all, this is sort of like, the Terran taking another main here is sort of the Protoss' equivalent of like, you know when like a Terran gets surprised by like 10 carriers? That's sort yeah. of like, like, well, that's the issue is not 10 <laughs> carriers. It's like, how did you let this happen? It's like, you let a Terran take <laughs> another main? Like, well, yeah. I don't even okay, know. That, like, no, that makes sense. Yeah. I thought you were saying it in a different way. No, so no, no. I mean, carriers, when you get surprised, you just leave the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, no. No, I mean, just th th when you see somebody actually take another main here, it's like, oh, we don't really take into account that kind of game because you're not supposed to let that happen, you know? Mm-hmm. But now that Sock actually knocks out the bottom right, that is gigantic, man. Like, it... Snow has three o'clock, not that many probes. He remade the Nexus at the top right. A million probes at the uh, top right as well. 
But with, like, Sock is mining fully off two bases and has three two mech. Like, that's, you know, that's the sweet spot right there. Two bases and three two mech, and you have a shot against anything. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten that third armor upgrade yet, but... Where's the T Protoss' upgrades? Okay, so he's <laughs> he's getting shield upgrades now and the armor upgrades. Now, the Terran uh, upgrades, they scale a little bit better, but it's good to see that Snow's actually playing catch-up because before he basically was playing... Like, his yeah, army was yeah. basically butter. <laughs> like, it's uh, <laughs> you, you need to have, like, something much more uh, well, robo robust. And so getting the upgrades means that Snow's going to have a little bit more viability. Uh, it does look like, yeah, this Nexus at the bottom right is taken out. Um... And Snow may be able to try to come in there and reclaim that. He's doing a very good job of kind of cleaning up the mines. But there's a lot of resources to work with here in the upper right. I'm just going to do a quick sweep mm -hmm. here on my stream. I want to see. My I, God. I just yeah. don't see a carrier tech. I don't see a arbiter tech or anything. Oh, man. This attack is here is insane. Attacking. Oh, oh, the oh. storm drops on the SPV is just insane. And he kills the tanks. He's trying to get up the ramp, and he's going to kill most of the economy here. This is oh my this is pretty God. incredible. I actually almost missed that attack in there on the left. Like, that was more than half of the SCVs in the game, for sure. And this is still a base that had a lot of minerals at it. it the fact that he's denied this is huge. I think if Sock was able to sit on two bases for a long time, sometimes you can beat a Protoss that has the entire map. I know that sounds insane, but... The Terran don't need the same number of bases as Protoss, but taking this out and killing the CC is huge. This is an insane back and forth game. This what, is a a, great, what a wonderful game this what is. What an excellent game to christen this King of the Hill, man. Seriously. But now Snow really has it. Sock is at 90 supply. Sock is only mining from 6 o'clock. He's making a command center. Yeah, he cleared bottom right, but realistically can't defend everything you have and expand to the bottom right. Like, Snow can no. just attack literally Dude. any position Artos is going and to break block. it. This storm drop could be insane. Oh! You know, it's funny. Oh. The, the storm drops against Terran. Keep in mind, you know, Terran don't make... Oh! Terran don't make medics in this matchup. Uh, and, like, SUVs <laughs> can repair. Like, yeah, but... It's not really something that's going to be happening here. GG, uh, Snow takes game Damn. one. Very impressive. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, anytime those SCVs take damage from Storm, man, they get weaker and weaker, and that was a great closer there. That was insane. What a great, 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 great game. My God. Um, give me one second, Artosis. Uh, congratulations to Snow. He has won that and will stay in the King of the Hill match. Um, I need a, a two-minute break here.